His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him, and became like dead men. And the angel said to the woman in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeing Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to the disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
businesses closed, people were told to stay home. Churches, city uh, heavy, not because people uh, aren't interested, but because they're uh, the sake of public safety, they're told to stay away. Um, uh, that, uh, they risk being contaminating someone else or themselves from being contaminated. Um, lots of uncertainty.
Spirit that works in human hands that will come for us with better life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, walker and nation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine that works in human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
even our bishops, your bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. So graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, the whom you bestow on the world all of this good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To say this commandment for my divine teaching, let us pray together the prayer of Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, apostles, peace I with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffering. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on your mind, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. Amen.